I hope that your week got off to a good start on this Monday. And if it wasn't off to a good start already at work, maybe we can get you off, uh, get your week off to a good start tonight. With a, maybe we'll pull something incredibly awesome for you out of this break. I'm going to try really hard anyway. So before we get started uh, ripping into things, there is always a little bit of information to go over. And it might be helpful if I didn't have my camera crooked. Like, what is going on there? My tripod. Oh, crazy and crooked. And that's maybe a little better, but eh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's get going with our information. Uh, and we'll be ripping into things pretty shortly here. But let's take a look at this first. So, feedback, 100% automated on eBay. I do that so that you don't ever have to wait on me anytime you leave positive feedback for me. You're going to instantly get it in return. And, of course, the second part of that message there is to say thank you, because I do appreciate you spending part of your evening with me. Those of you who bid and break and chat and hang out with me, I'm glad that you're here. We are looking right now at breaks that are coming up. This stuff is already listed on eBay. We're going to be breaking it over the course of the next five days. So tomorrow night, a Leaf Autograph Multi-Sport Jersey, Top Series 1 Baseball, a full case of Jumbo. Base Cards has its own bidding spot in that Series 1 break, okay? Does not ship to the teams. Teams get autographs, relics, numbered cards, and anything that is defined as an insert on the Tops checklist. All the base cards go together in that other category, that separate bidding category that is labeled Base Cards. Wednesday, we have got two new releases. We will open a case of each. The high-end impeccable basketball and then everybody's favorite, select football. In select football, the XRC Redemptions will have a separate bidding spot. On Thursday, pair of Gold Rush uh, Series 4 autograph mini football helmets, a second case of impeccable, and we'll do another case of flash baseball on Thursday night. Friday night, we have Leaf Best Basketball coming out. Love that product. Uh, you remember how much fun we had with Leaf Best of Football this year? Well, we're going to have that much fun and more with Leaf Best of Basketball. And same as we had with football, they are adding uh, some kind of mystery redemptions that show up here and there. They're not guaranteed, but they can be in there. If we pull one, it will either be for autograph memorabilia or a sealed uh, box of cards or a sealed rare pack of cards. So the Redemptions have their own bidding spot in Leaf Best of Basketball. Also another select football case on Friday night. On Saturday, we'll do another case of our Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseball. It's just like we're getting ready to do one tonight. We'll do another one Saturday night. We're going to try out Gold Rush Trifecta Football. So guys, that is three autograph memorabilia items, and we don't know what three items it's going to be. Basically, it can be a jersey, a football, uh, a mini helmet, cleats, a photograph, uh, and I think they also list something like, uh, and some surprise items, so we don't really know what's going to be in there. We just know it's football, we know all the teams are represented, and it's, it's going to be three autograph memorabilia items, so that ought to be a little fun to get into. Also on Saturday night, we will do a fifth case of Leaf Flash Baseball, and we'll do another two-case break of Revolution Basketball in the Chinese New Year edition. So that's what we look like uh, in the upcoming days for tonight. This is also the order that we're breaking in. So there's a lot of information on this page. So the order we're breaking in, we'll start with that. It's going to be the Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs, then the case of Flash Baseball, then the case of plat Plates and Patches Football. The free shipping stuff, that is the autograph baseballs, okay? Free shipping stuff is always projected to go out the door uh, within seven days of the auction end. So that means it's going to be on the way to you no later than next Monday the 25th. Most likely it's going to be sooner than that, but it shouldn't be any later than that. Our paid shipping breaks tonight, that's flash baseball and plates and patches football, should be on the way to you uh, by Friday, possibly sooner. I'm going to try hard to get it out the door to you sooner, but uh, plan on Friday. Be happily surprised if it goes out faster than that. One last topic tonight, consolation cards, okay? If your team is not pulled in your break, you are entitled to a used consolation trading card. It can be from any year in any series. I keep track of it for a rolling 90 days. If you're in that free shipping break, which is the autograph baseballs, typically your consolation card, I just hang on to it until the next time you have a package going out. 
At that point, I would gather up any that you were due and send them all at once. If you're in that free shipping break and you don't want to wait for your next package, you need only to send me a message on eBay to let me know. I will get you taken care of. Now, if you're in one of our paid shipping breaks, which is plates and patches and flash baseball, if you happen to get skunked in either one of those, any consolation cards you are due will ship out with the rest of the break. So first up tonight, a three box case of 2019 Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. This is a full inner case. It is break number three. Everything we're opening tonight into tonight, Monday night, the 18th of February, President's Day. And of course, our team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right hand side. We do have a handful of teams in here that don't have hits in the product. So those were not listed for sale. That is the Cubs, the Tigers, the Marlins, and the Pirates. Everybody else, of course, you've got names across from teams, and uh, now we just got to work the mojo for you. Last but not least, you're going to see me change the focus here. Background's going to go slightly out of focus, but that will not impact our ability to see our cards and items up nice and close and personal. So who is in chat tonight? We have El Sands in chat. LA is here. Bruce is here looking for some Vlad Guerrero Jr. I would like to find some baby Vlad for you too. Stanglover's here. Stanglover, you did forget to send me your mojo message tonight. Oh no, man. Is that going to affect it? I don't know. We'll, fi we'll find out shortly, won't we? <laughs> Stanglover usually sends me a message hoping for the mojo. You know, he sends it to me on eBay before a big break and uh, a lot of times it works for him surprisingly well right and he forgot to send it tonight so we're gonna have to see if that impacts uh, what comes out for his Yankees <laughs> and his Astros and flash hopefully it won't impact it we're gonna try we're gonna try to have it not impact it and then we have also got Ezekiel in chat and Kent as well hey hey Kent who have you got in here? You're in a bunch of things tonight. Are you in this too, Kent? I can't keep up with who has what, but I know you have a have several tonight. I know I can't get cut through the tape there. Crazy me. So Onyx, of course, does have a checklist. It is attached to the listing. You can see it in the form of a photograph on my listing page. I think they're also typed out at the bottom down there in the manufacturer's description area. So, of course, we're going to award our baseballs based on that, based on the Onyx checklist. I always like to try to guess the signatures. That looks like, could that potentially be Vlad Guerrero Jr.? I mean, maybe. If I'm, if I'm <laughs> I mean... It might be. No kidding, it might be. We're going to find out here in a minute. There's an Onyx authentication. There's no JSA, just the Onyx. I think there's a reasonably good shot that that's what that is. Oh, no, it's Victor Robles. Well, it was a V. <laughs> I thought that J might be a junior, but it wasn't. It was an R for Robles. Dang it. Man, I tried there. I thought, I thought that might go your way, Bruce. But instead, it is one Victor Robles headed out for the Washington Nationals. We got the V, and I was thinking we were in good shape, and dang, close though, right? Ezekiel had it, though. <laughs> Ezekiel, like, was dead on it. You already called it, man. You've got a good eye. I hardly ever guess them right. I try hard, but I hardly ever do. Kent, you're all plates and patches tonight. Okay, all right. Well, we'll be... We'll be in that before you know it. Nothing takes terribly long tonight. Your guess is as good as mine as to what that says. Could be, I don't know. Is Alex Verdugo in here? Could be him. Probably it isn't him. I don't know who it is. <laughs> BSA DNA and Onyx authenticated. I know, I'm really bad at guessing them. I know that I am. There's the Onyx card to match your sticker. The PSA DNA. Oh, it's a rookie ball, whatever it is, that matches uh, as well. And it belongs to, see, I told you I was wrong, Viscano. And boy, oh boy, what is he on this checklist? Let's find him. Let's see what team they have him on here, because I don't remember him. Does anybody else remember him? Uh, Braves, Atlanta Braves. All right, one left to go. All right. All right, all right, all right. One left. Let's see if I can guess any right tonight. So far, I am 
<laughs> Ofer. <laughs> yeah, no, that's something with an A in it, and they obviously plays for the Cardinals, right? That's about as far as I can get you on that one. Oh, we got to look at our authentications. Onyx and JSA authenticated for that. And there's your Onyx paperwork. Here's your JSA paperwork. It is a little folded up, but that doesn't hurt anything. And it is... Oh boy, that was not even an A, that was an S. Sam, whoever that is. I can't even pronounce or begin to pronounce that last name. And I don't really know that guy offhand. Do you guys know that guy offhand? I mean, we know who he is because he wrote Go Cards on there. So I know he's Cardinal. Um, but I'm just not familiar with him anyway. So we have uh, this guy whose name I can't pronounce for the St. Louis... Cardinals. We're just recapping here our our baseballs. Now we are so there goes the Cardinals and you know what I'm gonna label the tops of these boxes as we go along so that I can remember it not have to dig around in here again and then we have the uh, Viscano for the Atlanta Braves. There's one more look at that for the Braves. And then our first out was the Victor Robles for the Nationals. So Braves there and Nationals here. And we are all in. Kenji's here. Hi, Kenji. Shane, uh, Leaf Flash, of course, is uh, coming up next. So once again, guys, the order tonight, uh, as we as we uh, typically do, we break in the order that things end on eBay. So our Onyx uh, autographed baseballs were first, Leaf Flash baseball is second, and then third is plates and patches. So that's how that's going to go along. Let me get our spreadsheet set back up here, and we will take a look and move on down the line. So for those of you who jumped in after the fact, um, please take a look here at your shipping information and projected shipping information and the information about consolation cards. Hit me up if you have any questions about any of that. I see Chicago Sox uh, answered Shane about the order that we were breaking into. Thank you. Chicago Sox. I appreciate that. And all right, we are in a 12 box case of 2018 Leaf Flash Baseball. It's a full case break. It's break number three. And of course, once again, it ended tonight on eBay Monday night, the 18th of February. Team names are on the left hand side. Our winning bidders across from each team on the right hand side. I think many, most, all of you maybe know the deal with this. And that is that your players are not going to have a team name or a team logo shown on the uniform. That's because they're not allowed to. Only Tops can do that. So when Panini does their products, they will they put the city name on there, make things a little easier, right? Leaf doesn't put the city name on there either. So here's how we do it. It does state this in the in the listing down in the special circumstances area, and hopefully everybody is already aware of it. But teams are going to go to their, or players rather, are going to go to their current teams. So that means if a player's been traded, they're going to go to their current team, the team they were traded to. They're not going to go to the team that they used to be with. Always going to go to the current team on this uh, leaf kind of stuff where no logos show. Now, chances are we'll, we'll probably know the, maybe not all these, but a lot of them. Some of the ones that I have a tendency to forget, I have written down on a little sheet of paper here next to me so I can take a look at the ones that I know I'm likely to forget. So hopefully we're going to be able to hit the high points on uh, on all of them as we go through. If there is somebody that I don't know at all and I don't have written down, you know, we'll check it out and look it up. But for the most part, we've opened quite a bit of leaf stuff. Their checklists tend to be somewhat similar uh, from product to product for any given year. 
and their baseball checklist this year, as I'm sure you probably know, is really, really good. We have got all kinds of awesome stuff in their checklist. All right, so what else have I got over here in chat? Am I caught up in chat? I think so, maybe. I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> Kent, did I say hi to you? I think I did. Oh, Griffin's there. I miss Griffin joining in. Hi, Griffin. And did I say did I say hi to you, Kenji? If I didn't say hi to you a minute ago, hi to you as well. Sometimes chat rolls by and I don't catch it. Uh, I, you know, if there's a lot if there's a lot of chat going by because I'm multitasking and sometimes I see one and I think I've said something and I haven't and sometimes I just don't see it. So. If you ever ask me something and you don't hear me respond to it, you ask it in chat and you get no response and nobody types in the answer for you either, feel free to jump in there and ask it again because it could be that I just didn't see it the first time. So after Leaf Flash, our next baseball from Leaf might be Metal Draft. Is Metal Draft next or Valiant next? I don't know. I've seen so many Leaf products lately, and they're starting. It's starting to get interesting. They are in some products. I haven't seen it in any baseball yet, but in some of the new football products and some of the multi-sport products, they're starting to come out with hobby cases and jumbo cases. So the jumbo cases are typically just more autographs per box and fewer boxes per case but your overall number of hits will either be the same or slightly greater than what's in the hobby version so that's going to be interesting as we go along <laughs> i've seen that primarily in football so far but my guess is somewhere along the way they'll probably end up uh sending that our way in baseball too where those sorts of things usually work so we're going to get three boxes out on the table at a time and then we'll, you know, obviously look at them one box at a time. But we'll unbox three so we can kind of roll through a set and, and stop and do it all over again. All right, so you are looking for some Mets Mojo and some Reds Mojo. And Danny wants to know if I am a current or retired HR manager. I am not a current or retired HR manager. Indeed, I am not. My sister was the vice president of human resources for uh, a big national sporting goods company who shall remain nameless, but I am not. Mm -mm, I was always uh, a sales manager. This is for the Indians. It is Valera for the Indians, number 235. Next up is Logan Gilbert for the Seattle Mariners. Followed by Nick Madrigal to 25 for the White Sox. Jordan Adams and the Angels. We have a Ryan Weathers uh, flash photography card set redemption. Ryan Weathers is a Padre. There's your man Casey Mize for the Detroit Tigers. That is numbered 210. Like it. But by the way, Danny, why would you think that I am a an HR manager? Just out of curiosity, I have... Um, I'm a little confused as to why you think I'm an HR manager. <laughs> I think that's kind of interesting. So you do have to share since I, since I answered your question, you have to answer mine. Peter Alonso for the Mets. Next up is Griffin Roberts to 50. And Griffin is a St. Louis Cardinal. Ethan Hankins to 50 for the Indians. Then we have Adam Kloffenstein, 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 whichever. It's numbered to five. That's the good part of that. And it is for the Toronto Blue Jays. There's another Nick Madrigal. Oh, he's trying to jump out of there. That is numbered to 50 for the White Sox. And then we have Juan Soto for the Nationals on a redemption. Then it is Mike Siani. That is numbered to 10 for my Cincinnati Reds. How about that? Got a little love for my Reds. Anthony Siegler to 50. And Anthony Siegler is a New York Yankee. 
Jared Kalenic in our flash photography insert and that or on rather our flash photography insert that is for the Mariners one Joe Adele coming out for the Angels followed by Grayson Rodriguez Grayson is for the Orioles. That's another flash photography. Somebody tonight sent me the winner of our Blue Jays. You sent me a message asking for some Vlad Guerrero Jr. mojo. There is your man, and he is numbered to 50. So we've at least got some of the mojo flowing the way it should tonight, I think. Indeed. Oh, Kenji, you were cooking and you forgot to bid on the Indians. Hey, no worries. We got more cases of it. We'll be able to we'll be able to get to find you another night where you can jump in and get the Indians. And yeah, you do. You've got good eyes. You can pick out those cards on the top of each of my little stacks, can't you? Mm-hmm. That's what happens. That's the magic of uh, that's the magic of changing the focus so you can see things up close, right? <laughs> Shane McClanahan and the Tampa Bay Rays. That is numbered to 50. Luke and Baker for the St. Louis Cardinals. Jeremiah Jackson comes out for the Angels. Ryder Green and the Yankees. We've got ourselves a little one-of-one -one printing plate. That is Mr. Alec Thomas headed to the Arizona Diamondbacks. One-of-one -one autograph printing plate. Nolan Gorman. Now the Cardinals can relax. Number to 50. There's your man. Joe Adele out again. Angels with a pair of Joe Adele so far. Matthew Libatore, Tampa Bay Rays. Lion Richardson, numbered to 10. And you know what? I finally can remember that Lion Richardson <laughs> belongs to my Cincinnati Reds. I know I'm embarrassed to say it, but I have a hard time remembering that he's a Cincinnati Red. I can't retain that for some reason. Shane Bieber to 25. I think Shane is an Astro. Let me double check. I am wrong. He is an Indian. Shane Bieber is the Cleveland Indians. That's why I write them down. The ones I know I'm going to mess up, I write them down. Because I, yeah, know I'm going to mess them up. Jordan Groshans to 50. Jordan is a Blue Jay. And then we have another Jared Kalenic. And this one is numbered to 15 headed to the Mariners. Sean Jelly, number 50, San Francisco Giants, William Contreras for the Braves. Urias is out for the Padres, and this looks like, yeah it is, it's Junior Severino, National Pride, does not appear to be numbered on that one. And uh, Junior there is a twin, a Minnesota twin for Severino. And look at that. There he is again, back to back. Isn't that handy? That one's numbered to 15. Should come out right there together. Peter Alonso making another appearance to 15 for the Mets. Yeah, so see, Danny, you never did really answer my question. So, see, I'm saying, like, how did you come up with the question, why did you think I was an HR manager? And Danny didn't want to cough to it. He just says, oh, it's nothing bad, because <laughs> I'm an HR manager. It's nothing bad, he says. <laughs> but whenever they don't tell you what it is, oh, it's something bad. <laughs> it's something bad. But that's all right. I am, whatever it is, I am sure that I have had worse said about me. I do not doubt that for one second. <laughs> Trust me, when you're a breaker, you get a lot of things said about you over the course of time. Some to your face and some not. But anyway. <laughs> Gene, I know I just cannot retain Bieber. I mean, there's, like I told you, Lion Richardson, he goes to my Cincinnati Reds. I mean, that's my team. For whatever reason, I just can't retain him. It's the same thing with Shane Bieber. There's just a handful of these guys, for whatever reason, cannot remember them. That's why I have to write them down sometimes. Owen White, numbered to 50 for the Texas Rangers. Ryan Rollison, Colorado Rockies. Simeon Woods Richardson for the Mets. Oh, wow, we haven't seen uh, Michael Grove uh, in a case or two. I don't think think he's a dodger but it's numbered to five that's the oh wow part when you see the red in here it usually means numbered to to five so the dodgers with a nice low number this is for my cincinnati reds 
It's Jonathan India, number to 50 on the flash photography insert. Wander Franco, there's a nice one for the Tampa Bay Rays on the brilliance insert. Next up is Caden Griner, number to 50. That is for the Orioles. Josh Burrow comes out for the Yankees. Jamison Hanna is numbered to 50. I believe he's an Oakland A. Let me double check him. He's not one I'm dead set certain on. Where are you, Jamison? Where are you, my friend? Yes, he is an Oakland A. DJ Peters to 15. Los Angeles Dodgers. Alec is out for the Phillies, numbered to 50. There's Mr. Ronald Acuna. Braves were getting nervous, weren't you? There he is on a brilliance insert, numbered 250. Daniel Lynch and the Kansas City Royals. There's another Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. There's Brady Singer for the Royals. Cole Roderer comes out for the Cubbies, numbered to 25. And we have a Ryan Weathers redemption for the Padres. Followed by Shohei Otani. Yeah, baby, there he is for the Angels. Very nice hit for the Angels with the Shohei Otani on-card autograph. Just the way we like it. Getting our big names out of here tonight. All right, we're coming up on our final three boxes out of this case. We do have plenty more Leaf Flash. We'll be breaking it another time or two for sure. And all righty, all righty. We're going to set that one up there because we like to do Last Box Mojo, and that's technically the one that came out of the Last Box. So we're going to set it up at the top, and we'll see if our Last Box Mojo works for us or not. Bobby Dowelbeck is out for the Red Sox, number 225. There's Parker Meadows to 50. Parker, I have a hard time remembering as well. He is a Tiger. And Braxton Ashcraft is out, numbered to 50. And dear old Braxton is for the Pirates. Here's Griffin. Griffin comes out for the Blue Jays. Louis Robert, nice hit to 25, White Sox. A Juan Soto, redemption for the Nationals. Second one, I think, for the Nats, maybe. Seth Beer, he's an Astro. Joey Bart is a San Francisco Giant, your number two overall draft pick. Taylor Weidner to 10. Taylor is a Diamondback. Jackson Coar to 25, Kansas City Royal. Jordan Adams, get back in there, Jordan, is an angel, number to 50. And Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays, who are having a nice little break tonight, to 25. Tristan Casas is a nice one, Red Sox. We're on our last box mojo box right now. Steel Walker, Chicago White Sox. Nick Schnell, Tampa Bay Rays, number 215. Sean Jelly again, I like that kid. Uh, San Francisco Giants. Josh Stowers, that's uh, to 10. And that is, he's an example of a guy who was traded. Of course, Kalenic, we saw earlier, went to the Mariners because that's his current team. Josh Stowers was just traded uh, not that long ago, last month. Uh, end of January, he was traded to the Yankees. So Josh Stowers goes to the Yankees. And our last box mojo does pretty good there with Stowers and then Fernando Tatis Jr. to 50 for the San Diego Padres. So we're going to recap this, but guess what we're not going to do? We're not going to read off all those names and numbers again because that would be just like doing the break a second time, right? So instead, I'm just going to put them up here, and we're going to flip through them again. So if you missed it a moment ago, or you jumped in late, or you got distracted, watching TV, multitasking, <laughs> now is your chance to uh, catch the highlight reel, so to speak. And for those of you who are waiting for plates and patches football, you don't have far to go. We'll be busting into that here in a couple minutes. As soon as we do our recap, we'll put up our spreadsheet info and then head into plates and patches, which you know I love. Love, love it. 
And I've heard some people say this year, like, oh, we don't think plates and patches has been very good this year. So what some people, a couple of people have said they don't like it. Most people do. A couple of people haven't. I gotta tell you, I think it's been every bit as good this year as it's been in the past years. We have pulled some really nice things out of plates and patches. So I've, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe some, maybe other people are not getting as good a cases as we're getting or who knows? Who knows? I just know I like it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think we're going to have fun in it. Should be good. Kenji, you said you got the names, not the numbers. You did, Oh, you got it. <laughs> well, um, if you need the number on something, Kenji, you just shoot me a message and you let me know. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll find it for you. All right. You shoot me a message on eBay if there was a, uh, somebody in particular you needed to know the number on. And we'll get you, we'll get you squared away. All right. And you bought a team in plates and patches. You said just for fun. <laughs> Listen, plates and patches is awesome. You're going to like it. What happens if you get hooked then? Then what are you going to do? If all of a sudden you get hooked on breaking football. Go down that rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. It might happen. You think it won't. You think, oh, no, there's no way I'll get hooked on breaking football. But mm, you might. Just saying. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right. If you didn't see this info earlier, here is the 411 once again. Our page shipping breaks of flash and plates and patches should be on the way to you no later than Friday. Sooner if I can get it out sooner. But Friday should be the latest. If you get skunked in flash or plates and patches... Constellation cards will ship out with the rest of the breaks since those are paid shipping breaks. Of course, the autographed baseballs that we already broke on will be on the way to you no later than Monday a week from today. Usually the free shipping stuff does go sooner, but I always project it at least a week because I kind of just squeeze it in as time allows. You know, the rest of it I ship out in the order that it breaks and, you know, all the boring stuff. And, of course, if you were in the autographed baseball break, and you weren't pulled in there because it is a free shipping break. Usually I hang on to your consolation cards until you next have a package going. If you want it sooner, drop me a line. I'll take care of it. 12 box case of 2018 plates and patches football. This is a full case break. It is break number three. Also ended tonight on eBay, Monday night, the 18th of February. And we have got team names on the left-hand side. And the format you've grown to know and love, your name is up in lights across from your team on the right-hand side. Or more specifically, your eBay username, not your actual name, right? We, won't, we don't want to do that. We don't want to have a bunch of rampant identity theft or anything, right? <laughs> so we're going to stick to the eBay usernames. I think that's the safe way to go. Oh, I get what you're saying, Kenji. You're saying that some of your cards were the, un some of the stuff you hit was the unnumbered stuff. I got you. A little slow tonight, aren't I? I should have had that extra Red Bull this afternoon. I might have gotten that <laughs> without you having to explain it to me, maybe. <laughs> oh, goodness. Griffin, you said you've got the big D tonight. Well, that could be, who is that? That could be Denver, that could be Detroit, that could be Dallas. Which big D are we talking, man? I'm th uh, Detroit, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Who? You got to give us more, more info, Griffin. You know, my poor, old, sad, tired brain just looks at that and thinks, wait a minute, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know what team that is. I know it's sad, but... Ooh, Jean, there's a peach Red Bull? Oh, ho, 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 I did not know that. Well, that sounds like it has my name all over it. I get my Red Bull from Sam's Club, and I they just deliver it to me. You guys know, of course, if, well, not everybody may know, but for those of you who are, whoops, Sam Club, Sam's Club members, they changed those memberships. I don't know, it's been over a year ago now, I guess, or about a year ago, when they did away with the business membership, and then they have, like, the regular one, and then the one they call Plus, or whatever, and which would have, in the past, been the business membership that gives you early access, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, when they changed it up, one of the things they added was free shipping for most Plus members, 
and it usually gets there in two days. So like, I don't even have to go to Sam's Club to get my Red Bull. I just order it and it shows up at the door. That's the good news. The bad news is I miss out on things like knowing that there's peach Red Bull. What the what? Yeah, I gotta have that. Gots to have me some of that. <laughs> Kenji said there is no way that the big that Detroit can ever be the big D. Oh, that's just mean. That is just mean. <laughs> Griffin said that Dallas is the big D. That's who I thought first. And then I thought, well, shoot, I don't know. I could be wrong. I didn't know that that was an old saying for Dallas Cowboys because I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So I didn't I didn't know that, that you guys used to call the Cowboys the big D. So I learned something. Thank you, kids. Kent, you missed the spreadsheet. I tell you what, brother, I... Have already, as you see, we've already got boxes out and packs out. So, you know, I can't really navigate away from this right now. Because if I put up the spreadsheet, then you wouldn't, then you wouldn't, uh, you'd be taken away from this view. Which I don't do once we have stuff open and on the table. But what I can do for you is put it up again at the end of the break. I do recall that you had the first four teams. I remember noticing that when I did the spreadsheet. One of the few times I actually retained something. So I know that you have uh, the first uh, four teams, which would be Arizona, Atlanta, Baltimore, and Buffalo. Right? Cardinals, Falcons, Ravens, Bills. Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure those are the first four. But I will definitely, Kent, uh, I can put it up there for you again after we do the break. And you'll be able to see it then. Andy needs some chargers. And, um, all right, there we go. I think I'm mostly caught up. So, as you saw, we have one pack in every box. We'll have a printing plate in every pack. And every card in here is numbered. And we'll have an autograph card, a memorabilia card, and a printing plate. One of our packs should also give us uh, an autograph printing plate as well as an unautograph. So one of our packs out of this case should have two printing plates in it. But it's pretty straightforward. This is Josh Norman to 99 for the Redskins. You can always uh, count on plates and patches to deliver a very specific kind of experience. That is numbered to 50 for the Eagles, and it was uh, Darren Sproles. We have a relic kit coming out for the Chargers. Somebody asked for some Chargers mojo. He got some nice uh, relics there from Mike Williams. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking card. Was that numbered on? That's got to be numbered somewhere. Plates and patches is always numbered. Why don't I see that? Oh, it's on the side. Duh. It's numbered to 99. Oh, yeah. What's that thing they say about when you drink Red Bull? Makes you mentally sharper? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I should have had one. <laughs> All right. This is Mason Rudolph. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that is... Oh, that is nice. That's like part of a glove, probably. Oh, I love that swatch. If you've got my Pittsburgh Steelers tonight, I'm a little bit in love with this hit. Let me tell you, it is numbered to 35, and that's just cool. Yeah, I love it. We don't get a lot of swatches that look like that for the Steelers, so congrats, Pittsburgh. Next up, our printing plate. It is for the Big D. See, uh-huh, I'm reinforcing what I learned to help me remember. Emmett Smith and the Dallas Cowboys out of 2017 Immaculate Football. Yeah, you, you have brain cramps too. Yeah, my brain cramps like uh, plenty of times these days, I swear. Side effects of getting older, and I think this dumb medication they changed me to uh, has messed up my head. <laughs> It's number to 99, Derek Carr and the Raiders. Next up is Tevin Coleman. Tevin is to 30 for the Falcons. Then we have the Saints, a full coverage relic. It's numbered to 45, Michael Thomas. Nice looking patch there. And the Raiders. We have a Super Bowl autographed card. It'll be hard signed. It is for Ray Guy. 
and the Oakland Raiders. I always like getting the kickers, and you only get them in a few products, and this is one of them. I mean, every once in a while they'll sprinkle them in something else, but there's a couple of places where you can typically plan on finding them, and plates and patches is one of them. Jeremy McNichols for the 49ers out of 2017 Illusions Football. We have number 299, a little Ted Ginn Jr. for the Saints. Behind that comes Matt Ryan to 50 for the Falcons. Maybe a little bit of chipping on the corners on that. Not, not perfect, but honestly, most of these corners won't be perfect. Ronald Jones III, Tampa Bay Buccaneers with a trio of relics. And that's pretty low numbered. It's to 10. So not too shabby. And first out, you know how that gives me a special little thrill for who knows what reason. So it was number one of 10, no less. This is the box where we have our extra plate in it. This is going to be autographed. It is Brian Dawkins for the Eagles out of 2018 Don Russ football. That is a hard signed autograph. If you don't know this already, these printing plates, guys, uh, are going to have various things going on with them. Jerry Rice, 49ers out of 2017 Immaculate. By that, I mean they were actually used in the printing and making of the cards. So they're going to have scratches and imperfections, and sometimes they have lines down them. Sometimes they have writing, letters, or numbers printed on them. Occasionally, they'll be slightly bent. They're, they're not perfect, the printing plates, nor are they meant to be. It's part of their charm. This is the Seattle Seahawks. It is numbered to 99. Bobby Wagner, numbered to 50. That's Alan Hearns and the Big D. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Derek Henry, full coverage relic for the Tennessee Titans. It is numbered to 85, and that is a nice looking swatch. I like it. Here come the Broncos. They're getting in business now. Took them a minute, but they, they got around to it. It is Royce Freeman, numbered to 25. Got a very nice uh, relic, and then, of course, his sad little autograph. Just kid needs to do a little better than his initials, but sadly, he does not. And this is for the Kansas City Chiefs out of 2018 Classics Football. We're all about the kickers tonight, aren't we? Kickers are making it happen. Number 1099, Jamison Crowder, Washington Redskins. Behind that, number 250, it is Melvin Gordon and the Chargers. My Pittsburgh Steelers are going to hit another Mason Rudolph. You already had that super nice one. Now you have this one to go with. Got good. Well, those two relics are boring, but you've got a good relic in the middle there. And it is uh, numbered to 55. And now doesn't that, see the big white space they leave on these cards where they do these relic trios? Doesn't it look like that should be the autograph? Like that should be a hard signed autograph? It's weird, right? The card design looks like it should be signed, but it isn't. Ooh, we got some kind of extra special little I don't know what box going on right now. Because here's another printing plate for the Falcons, this one, out of 2017 encased Freeman, and it's autographed. It's got a sticker autograph on it. We usually only get one autograph printing plate per case. Now we've gotten two, but wait, there's another printing plate in here, Josh McCowan and the Jets out of 2018 Luminance, and wait for it, a third one. We got three printing plates out of that box crazy is that? O.J. Howard, Tampa Bay Buccaneers out of 2017 Contenders. So that was a definite little shoot and score kind of thing there. Extra one of one hits, an extra autograph printing plate. Uh, I'm about that. I like finding extra things. Number 299, Joey Bosa, San Diego Chargers. Clay Matthews is out to 50. For the Green Bay Packers. 
And the Bears get involved here. The Chicago Bears have a relic that is numbered to 85. Uh, Jordan Howard, relic uh, top and bottom. A redemption. Ooh, the plot thickens. Our redemption will set right up there in housekeeping. It's going to stay face down until the end of the break. We'll flip it over then and go to the Panini website and get it all uh, checked out after that. Bruce Smith, Buffalo Bills, out of 2017 playoff. Hmm, that one feels interesting to me. I don't know. I don't think it's anything. I don't think it's like a really super special different thing, but it's definitely more interesting. Let's shuffle that around. Let's put it next to last. Just because I want to. <laughs> Just because I want to. Then we are numbered to 99 with Derek Carr and the Raiders. Next up is one Nick Mullins to 50, San Francisco 49ers. The Jags with a triple relic, DJ Chark, Leonard Fournette, and Marquise Lee. That's numbered to 99. All three of those relics are kind of nice ones, too. I like it. Oh, it's Lamar Jackson. Ravens, you're about to have a good night. As soon as we flip this over, we're going to find out how good it is. Oh, it's pretty good. It's numbered to 99. That's pretty good. Got a nice relic there, counting the black. It's a four color. I mean, black's in there. It's just kind of... Maybe it's not in there. I thought the black was right there on that edge, but I guess it isn't. So I lied to you. It's a three color. There is no black. <laughs> I thought there was. But there wasn't. You know what? It doesn't matter. That's a nice hit for the Ravens. You got the autograph and the nice big relic three color. Emmett Smith, Arizona Cardinals out of 2017 playoff football. Oh gosh, Melody, there were tons of uh, uh, teams and players that hit. I mean, in Flash, good grief, guys, how many hits do we have in Flash? Like 60, 70 hits, something like that. So, yeah, there's a there's a bunch of teams and, and players that hit out of uh, out of Leaf Flash Baseball Melody. That is numbered to 10, Mike Williams and the San Diego Chargers. Gostowski coming out, Patriots, numbered to 50. And my Steelers coming up again, a relic, Juju Smith-Schuster. Number to 99, Green Bay Packers. You have a nice Ty Montgomery to 99, hard-signed autograph there for the pack. Our printing plate here is out of playoff football, and it is D.D. Westbrook for the Jags out of 2017 playoff. It's got a little, see that? It's like a little white scuff mark kind of thing on there, too. Once again, though, I mean, that's normal on these printing plates. They don't ever come out pretty and minty mint. Gronkowski, numbered to 99 for the Patriots. And right behind that, here's uh, Gostowski again. We saw him a second ago, but this time he's numbered to 20. But you've got uh, him out kind of almost back-to-back -back for the Patriots. Dang, man. Steelers, you have another <laughs> Mason Rudolph hit tonight. Wow. This one is going to be, I think, just a relic. Yeah, it's very similar to the one you had a moment ago. In fact, it's almost identical to the one you had a moment ago. But this one's numbered to 55. The only difference is you got a tiny little bit of black in there. But the same kind of, you know, black, yellow stripe. Very similar for one Mason Rudolph. We got another autograph printing plate. This is our third one out of this case. Mike Singletary and the Bears. That's a sticker auto as well. But you know what? That's awesome. Out of 2018 uh, classics. So, man, they're they're giving us the love in this case on our on our autograph printing plates. Foreman for the Texans out of 2017 Immaculate Football. Oh, Melody, you were talking about the autograph baseballs. I got you. 
Kenji looks like has typed in two of them. Oh, and then, yeah, all of them. Great. Oh, Kenji, I need to hire you. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Griffin says some guy from the Cardinals who's nobody's name could pronounce. Yes, that is exactly what I would have said because I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even remember that guy at all. Like, I don't even remember hearing that guy's name. I'm sure I have at some point, but I don't remember it. AJ Green to 99 for the Bengals. But I'm sure we will. Onyx has a way of catching people on the up and coming. So I'm sure if we haven't heard of that guy, we will soon. Well, we have now, obviously. To 50, Jalen Ramsey. Jags. Here comes Baker Mayfield. It is number 285. You've got a full coverage relic. And that's a nice relic for the Browns. It's hard to get good Browns relics. We have another little autograph Super Bowl card. This one is for the Redskins. And that is a hard signed uh, autograph as well. And that's our second Super Bowl card out of this case too. You should usually find as many of those as we have found tonight. Evan Ingram, Giants out of 2017, Rookies and Stars. All right, next to last. We have number 299. The Patriots again, imagine that. And James White. This one numbered to 20. Hunter Henry, Chargers. Here comes another Baker Mayfield. Also a relic. Um, this is your trio of relics put together. And it's numbered to 75. See what I'm talking about? Like they're all just orange. Like there's no... That's what I'm saying. That other relic, it's hard to come by for the browns. The multicolor nice ones. Meanwhile, the Patriots. Well, how about that for your James White hit? Very nice. To 35. Uh, you've got a very nice relic over there. It's a sticker auto. Um, and a four color patch. Not too shabby for the Patriots. Green Bay Packers. Jordy Nelson out of 2017 playoff football is our printing plate. Oh, Melody, you had the Braves. All right, well, cool. Well, then one of those balls is definitely heading your way, but it's the wrong Brave, you said. <laughs> Ew. Well, that does happen occasionally, doesn't it? Uh, which I am uh, sorry to sorry to say sometimes you don't always get the player that you want. Austin Hooper to 99 for the Falcons. James Connor comes out for the Steelers, numbered to 20. I forgot to say last box mojo, didn't I? Daggone it. That's all right. It's what we're in. We're in last box mojo, even though I forgot to say it. Pat Mahomes and Kareem Hunt, Kansas City Chiefs. Very nice relics on both sides there, numbered to 45. And our last live autograph hit in the product comes out for the Broncos with Deshaun Hamilton, numbered to 99. Our final printing plate is Michael Gallup and the Dallas Cowboys out of Luminance. That's an example of one. You can see it's got all kinds of like numbers and letters and whatnot imprinted there on the back of the plate but we're not entirely totally done because we do have a redemption uh yet to take a look at so we're going to flip that over we're probably going to know exactly what team it goes to however i will take a little spin over to the panini website where we will look it up on their checklist we'll make sure that the team that i'm about to say is correct and we will also find out what it's going to be numbered to and it is for Sony Michelle, headed to the Patriots, rookie patch autographs to the Pats. He is card number 23. We'll roll over there and find out what he's going to be numbered to. And, of course, also we'll verify that he's a Patriot. I mean, we know he's a Patriot, but it's still better, in my experience, to just put things up on the screen where everybody can see it and it just... Makes life a little easier, I think. So that's what we're going to do. So if you haven't ever been on the Panini website, their checklist goes all the way back there to 2009, as you can see. So it's 
super handy if you ever want to go look something up it is really nice to have this uh, just sitting there waiting for us what did I say that card set was again rookie patch autographs card 231 rookie patch autographs where are you I think I said card 23 while ago, did I? Well, it's 231 anyway, it says on there. 231, Sony Michelle, New England Patriots, going to be numbered to 99 when you get it. Which goodness knows, we all know with Panini, that might be in a week, it might be in a year. <laughs> I actually, it has not been that many months ago, maybe three, four months ago, I finally got some of my Ezekiel Elliott rookie stuff. Yeah, from 2016. You heard that right. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it was hard signed. It wasn't a sticker thing. And it took forever and ever in a day. All right, so let's uh, tell you what. Before we recap, somebody wanted to see that spreadsheet again. So let me do that so that I don't forget it. Uh, just showing the team information again. And then we'll recap because I don't want to forget it. So I think it was Kent that wanted to see this. So once again, this is the spreadsheet uh, pairings for the product that we just broke. So your eBay user ID is across uh, from your team there for this break that we just completed. All the other spreadsheet information, the shipping dates and what we're going to be breaking in the days ahead and all that kind of stuff, I will put up after we um, complete the recap. So our printing plates that are not autographed will be recapped first. So you've got Cowboys, 49ers, 49ers, Chiefs, Jets, Bucks, Bills, Cardinals, Jags, Texans, Giants, Packers, and Cowboys, the non-autographed printing plates. These are, of course, our hits, our little stack of hits. The Patriots have a Sony Michelle Redemption to 99. We have Deshaun Hamilton for the Broncos. Nice dual relic there for the Kansas City Chiefs. James White has a nice looking relic for the Patriots. Mr. Baker Mayfield with a trio of patches. And uh, a Super Bowl autograph there for the Redskins. Another Baker Mayfield relic that's a little bit bigger than the first one. One of several autographed printing plates that we pulled out of here tonight. I think we ended up with three. Instead of our customary one per case, we ended up uh, with three. One of them being Mike Singletary and the Bears. That one was a sticker. Mason Rudolph Relics, numbered 255. You'll see another one for him in a minute. Looks almost like that one. Ty Montgomery and the Packers, hard-signed autograph. A Juju Smith-Schuster relic set or two relics on there for the Steelers. Here's a nice Lamar Jackson to 99 for the Ravens relic and autograph. The Jags with a trio of relics. The Bears have a little Jordan Howard pair of relics. Another autograph printing plate. That's for the Falcons and Freeman. That one was also a sticker. There's your other Mason Rudolph, and it looks just almost exactly like the last one that we saw. <laughs> it is also numbered to 55, and it's almost identical. Not obviously exactly, but pretty close. You have a Royce Freeman, numbered to 25, with a nice relic for the Broncos. Derrick Henry's out for the Titans full coverage. This, another third autograph printing plate, but that one's hard signed. Brian Dawkins and the Philadelphia Eagles. Number to 10, you have a nice Ronald Jones patch for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Ray Guy, Oakland Raiders, Super Bowl signature. Michael Thomas for the Saints. This, I think, is pretty much my favorite card of the night. Why, you ask? Well, because I'm a Steelers fan, and I love that relic. Part of a glove, I think, perhaps. But you just don't get cool relics like that for the Steelers very often. It is numbered 35 for Mason Rudolph. And we started things off tonight with a pretty cool little patch for the Chargers as well. Mike Williams came out with the Supreme Swatches to 99. He got things started for us tonight. 
Okay, so once again, guys and gals, let me um, recap the information that you need to know in regard to shipping and such. If you've already seen this, um, cool, but for those of you who may not have, this is what you need to know. Flash football and plates and patches should be on the way to you no later than Friday, possibly sooner if I can get it out faster. And, of course, if you are due consolation cards, if your team did not pull a single card in either flash or plates and patches, your consolation cards will ship out to you with the rest of the break. And our free shipping break tonight, that was our autograph baseballs, will be on the way no later than Monday a week from today. Free shipping stuff always projected out a week after the fact. And if you got skunked in that one, uh, typically I would hang on to your consolation card or cards until the next time you have a package shipping simply because it is a free shipping break. But if you would like to have it sent uh, to you sooner, all you need to do is drop me a line and let me know. Now, looking ahead, this is what's coming up uh, over the course of the next five days. So tomorrow night, a Leaf Autograph Multi-Sport Jersey. Guys, that is sold. Spots are sold by first letter of the last name. So Aaron Rodgers would be an R. Hank Aaron would be an A. Carl uh, Anthony Towns would be a T, etc. And it is all listed in the football category because I just had to pick a category. That's the one I picked. We will also open... a full case of top series one baseball jumbo base cards has its own bidding position there base cards do not ship to the teams what does ship to the teams autographs relics numbered cards and anything defined as an insert on the tops checklist all that information of course in the listing description as well thursday a pair of gold rush series four autographed mini football helmets um, did I skip Wednesday? I did. Wednesday's a new release day. That's the most important one, and I skipped right over it. Wednesday is a full case of impeccable basketball and a full case of select football. XRC Redemptions will have their own bidding spot. Both of those are Wednesday releases. We'll break them Wednesday night. Thursday is our pair of Gold Rush Series 4 autographed mini football helmets, another case of impeccable basketball, and another case of Leaf Flash Baseball. Friday is the release date for Leaf Best Basketball, as long as they don't change it on us. And we'll break that Friday night. Redemptions will have its own bidding spot because the only thing in there that would be a redemption is memorabilia, uh, autographed memorabilia, or a pack of cards or a box of cards. Nothing else would possibly be a redemption in that product because it's a buyback product. Select Football will open a second case of that on Friday night, too. Saturday night, another case of the Onyx Preferred Players autographed baseballs will open a Gold Rush Trifecta football box. It has got three autographed memorabilia items in it, but we don't know what three. It can be cleats, it can be jerseys, photographs, footballs, mini helmets, any of the above, some combination thereof. And I think the marketing thing even said, or a surprise item. So goodness only knows what we're going to find in there, but should be fun. We'll open a fifth case of Leaf Flash Baseball on Saturday night as well. And we will end up Saturday with a two-case break of Panini Revolution Basketball, the Chinese New Year edition. Okay? So that's what the days ahead look like. I think that is all the news that you need to know for tonight. But let me double-check chat. I saw some things flying through over there. Uh, as I was doing some recapping, so let me make sure I've addressed any questions that are over here. Um, and then we'll see. Oh, Mac, yeah, you said there was a couple of teams that didn't that didn't pull anything out of. Actually, I think the Giants did at least pull something out of here. Um, but there may not have been Panthers. But if you didn't get, if your team didn't pull something, you are still going to get consolation cards in the mail and plates and patches. So. That will, uh, you know, give you another another shot at it. Maybe maybe a little better of luck. I mean, no way to know, but we'll certainly give it a, a try there. And, you know, as always, guys, I mean, sometimes these companies do better jobs of sorting than they do other times. So you just kind of never know. Sometimes more teams get hits than others and uh, their collation is not always as great as it could be, but that's true of Tops and Upper Deck and all the rest of them, too. So we just have to do the best we can, and at least they gave us some extra autograph printing plates in there. So, you know, we ended up with three different one-of-one -one autograph hits, so eh, at least that part's not too shabby. 
And uh, I guess then, guys and gals, that is it for me tonight. So once again, thanks for spending part of your Monday with me. I hope that uh, the rest of your week is a good one, and I will be back at it tomorrow night. So hey, stop by and see me then, or whenever the mood strikes you. I do it most nights. So hopefully we will see you again soon. In the meantime, uh, take care, and we'll catch you next time. Bye now.